Greetings YouTube, this is Yvette, welcome to our channel. Blessings to you all. We are doing composting 102 where we get to apply the compost that we made. So, we're at the bottom of our bucket. It's here, it smells horrible you guys. It smells horrible. I didn't add any water to this, this is just all the stuff that broke down and there were bugs and all kinds of things that went in there and I saw larvae and they were eating and feeding on this stuff and breaking it down. And so this is what's left at the bottom so it makes its own juice. So we're going to apply it to the front yard. I'm just going to throw some shovels in on it. And then there's Nana over there pretending like she's working on the garden with me. But she really ain't doing nothing. <laughs> so I'm going to take our shovel, which is... Where did I take my shovel? I put it... I stood it up. So, oh, it fell down. Here we go. And it smells so bad, you guys. I'm going to put a glove on because it smells really bad. No. I'm just gonna put my glove on. Okay, so this is, she turned her car on. My daughter has auto start on her car. She's about to leave to go do something, we'll probably go to the gym. Okay, this is our compost stuff. And so what you really do is just take it and throw it around the yard. It smells so bad. We're gonna water this stuff in. And so what you do is you just keep on doing this over and over. So what I'm gonna do, Let's pause the video after I throw all this in and get the water hose ready so we can water it in. Okay, you guys, we've got all the compost down on the ground. And now what we're going to do is take our water hose and just water it in. Okay, so I'm turning on the water. Had to let our neighbor walk by who's walking his dog. And so we're just going to water all the compost in so that it seeps in underground and feeds the yard. So I have these wood chips that I have the tree service drop off. And for two years, we've been dropping wood chips down here. I need one more load for this year because I didn't put down any fresh this year. And we want to do that so that um, the ground will be ready to plant in. So basically, I'm just going to put seed out for this year, put some plants. Actually, I'm going to put some plants in and let them go to seed because next year you can't touch the ground and what God is going to do is he's going to multiply what we already have down here because that's what happens in the jubilee year or the sabbatical year sorry not jubilee but sabbatical year year number seven you do nothing to your garden if you don't cut back stuff it's growing like wow but you don't get to do anything God gives you even more and the next six years you use after that until the next sabbatical year, you use that time to cut back the growth that God gave you. So we'll be doing that. I'm excited about this. I wanted to do a garden this year, definitely, and that is my goal. So next week I'll be going to the nursery and buying edible plants. I'm not spending money on stuff that you cannot eat, even though flowers and stuff are beautiful. And we have a, I think this is a hydrangea, and it's beautiful, it has beautiful flowers. But you can't eat it. And then we had a really nice Bruce, blue spruce that was in the yard. We bought the house. It's gorgeous. Can't eat that either. It provides some shade. But the point I'm making is that I'm planting only things that we can eat. And thank God for the Garden of Eden and for Paul Gauchi. You guys, this man is anointed in the area of gardening. He makes gardening so effortless. So effortless. I had to come in and pull some weeds because I don't have thick enough... Uh, mulch down here to stop it <laughs> but what I will do once I get my next layer down it'll cut out a lot of weeds from going through but basically this is composting this is how you apply it so if you watch composting 101 you'll see where I have had my compost in bins where I just dumped it in I explain that and just let it ferment and all the nutrients break down and I use all that stuff in the garden this is some wonderful stuff. This is, this is like having manure put down. But we're prepping for when the time when there will not be food and we have to grow our own food. And so the sad thing is that a lot of people are not paying attention to that. Because if you look at my neighbor's yards, they all have beautiful plants and flowers they keep buying. None of that can they eat. So we'll have to probably feed them, feed family that's not paying attention. Okay, I'm going to sign off because the next video we're going to be making some compost tea. God bless you. Bye-bye.